Oh, is it not just crazy? Thank you so much, guys, for sharing in on that. Uh, I think the new norm is just absolutely exceptional, and I think it's going to be a, a big talking point for many of us and a big memory uh, that we'll hopefully look back on and, and, and talk about how we prospered. But speaking of memories, there's one big memory for me that I just cannot do without, and that's Mama's cooking and baking in the kitchen. And there are, of course, a few smiles as nostalgic and or as evocative as that of freshly baked scones. Mm, it's already bringing memories down to the soul. Now pair that with some freshly made jam and you have memories in a mouthful. And thanks to these memories, we've been inspired to make even more special moments by bringing you these delicious snowflake handmade scones straight from our kitchen to yours. And I'm joined by Chef Mo. Oh, I'm so excited, Mo. I've, I, like snowflake is like uh, imprinted in my mind when it comes to baking. I know yes. with mom always having flour over the table. I yeah. knew something was getting rolled out and it's going to be a perfect uh, baking day. So I'm always excited to see these colors, to see this going down. So awesome. you're giving me nostalgia already. Um, me too. <laughs> I have such nostalgia from mm. baking today because I used to bake with my mom and my aunt in the kitchen. My mom's not so great at baking. Sorry, mom. Uh, but my, <laughs> my aunt, she's brilliant. Okay. okay. So we're going to make some beautiful cheese scones. I love a savory scone, but you can also have it sweet with that beautiful jam that Chef Clem made earlier. Now you're talking. Yeah. I must just say to the viewers out there, maybe a little tip for the weekend and for going forward. I, I, obviously, we spoke about family previously in the show, and I do think that everybody out there, both moms and dads, need to be encouraged, I think, to just start cooking, start creating some meals, start creating some magic with your family, because as you can see, I think everybody in the show has something special to share, which has stood with them up until their adult life. So I think everybody must, must, must get involved in the kitchen. We need some beautiful <laughs> memories. Yeah. Okay, and so when you bake a scone, you need to have the best ingredients ever because you don't want to have a scone mixture that turns into biscuits when you bake this in the oven. <laughs> Can okay? a scone turn into a biscuit? I speak of experience, okay? okay? <laughs> so that's where Snowflake comes in. It's been around for 135 years. So you know this is good quality, fluff-free baking, okay? Like, you can't go wrong. So to my bowl, I'm going to add two cups of flour and yeah. I've got my sift in there because you need to really have a nice airy dough mixture okay. when you make your scones. Is that step one of no biscuit? Step one of no <laughs> biscuit scones. <laughs> okay, and then to that, I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder and this is going to help it to rise up a mm. little bit in the oven. I always feel like baking powder, like especially this, is purely like the magic within any bake. It just brings it to life, it brings yes. it up, otherwise you just got a flat pancake looking scone. Exactly. <laughs> what you can also use is the self-raising flour. Okay. Like if you don't, if you struggle to remember ratios, just use self-raising flour. It's already got some baking powder in there. Okay, so that's yeah. a little quick fix. If and you Snowflake need. happens to have that as well available at your convenience. Ah, I love it. <laughs> so that we're going to add a little bit of sugar and some salt. And then I'm going to give that a quick little mix. And then we've got some cold butter that's going to be breadcrumbed into this mixture. You mentioned cold, like what's, what's cold. the reason for that? Why? Absolutely has to be cold butter because that also helps with that beautiful flaky, crumbly crumb. Okay. of the scone mixture. So warm butter would, would just make it smooth and um, Warm again? butter <laughs> would be a flop. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Although with Snowflake, it's too fresh to flop. Right. But um, just go in with some cold butter and then rub that with your fingers. If you tend to have hot hands, like your hands are usually warm, don't use the palm. Use your fingertips. Uh, okay, of course, otherwise you can heat it up even more. Yeah, so also to that you're going to add a little bit of cold milk. Because what happens is when that mixture hits the oven, the oven is hot and then your butter emulsifies into your flour. Because if it's already melted, it's not going to give you that beautiful volume. Wow, this is yeah. actually very, very important. <laughs> like the key steps to not making this a flop. Guys, of course, check these out. These ingredients are essential. Of course, you're talking about cold butter, cold milk especially. And you can get all of this on expressoshow.com where you can find these recipes and some more inspiration. But of course, don't forget these vital steps. Otherwise, you might be looking like a biscuit uh, when you come out of the oven. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You don't want no biscuits <laughs> for your scones but unless back. you're making some other 
type of American biscuit that looks <laughs> like scones. I think they just actually call them biscuits because they're supposed to be scones. Well, someone accidentally put like self-raising flour and cold butter in and they were like, whoa, this biscuit's big. <laughs> Let's call it a scone. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who knows? To that, you're going to add some cheese. So I've got some cheddar cheese. I've got some uh, mozzarella and a bit of feta. Also, it's a three cheese scone, very nice, with some chives. So you have the option to include whichever cheeses you have. If you only want one type, give that a nice little mix, that they all come together, and then this is your beautiful mixture. Don't give it like too much of a mix, mm -hmm. just like a quick thing, because it needs to be, the less it has hands, the better. Okay. The better the crumb. Ah, okay. So then Get you involved. have this beautiful mixture. It all comes together beautifully. And then we're going to roll it out and then make our little scones. Okay. So this is where the, the, the manpower comes in, or the woman power, I'd say, in the kitchen. This is where my mother would always call me and say, do you want to help out? Because I think she thought that I could never miss this easy step up. Right. <laughs> no, you can't. This is the easiest. So the, you want to have some thickness to your scone. Um, don't make it too flat also helps with when it starts to bake. And then just use like, if you don't have a cookie cutter, use a glass to get your beautiful little shapes and then onto your baking tray and they bake for 20 minutes. Simple as that. And I'm assuming that that's where it starts off and it rises and grows to this size. To that size, we've got some baking powder in there, beautiful butter, our fresh snowflake flour, amazing. Wow, that seemed a lot simpler than I thought. I know. Oh, Chef Mo sure delivering us with the goods for this weekend, guys. It's your jam with cheese and chive infused scones. It's the most sophisticated way to spend your weekend. And we've got you covered. Of course, head over to expressoshow.com for more of this inspiration. But otherwise, stick around. We've got some more magic coming at you very soon. Snowflake, too fresh to flop.